So with all the hype and new rumors about the upcoming LEGO Marvel Summer 2021 sets, I thought it'd be a good time to take a look back at some of the older sets we got, specifically with one character, that being my favorite character, Iron Man. So today we are going to be taking a look at what in my opinion are the best LEGO Iron Man minifigures ever made. And this video is going to be a little bit different because I actually own nearly every single LEGO Iron Man minifigure, which means I can actually show them to you guys on video, which is a little bit different from what I usually do just showing images of the minifigures that we're discussing. And yes, I know after the last video, a lot of you guys were asking to see my entire LEGO Iron Man collection, and trust me, I will be doing a video on that. I just need to get a couple more minifigures that are arriving in the mail soon, and then I will definitely make a video covering the entire collection. So stay tuned for that. But real quick, before we get into the video, I did want to give a reminder that the giveaway for $100 worth of your choice of LEGO sets is still going on. This would be a great opportunity to win some of the new LEGO Marvel 2021 summer sets that are coming out, including one based on Iron Man 1. So if you want to win a set like that, make sure to enter this giveaway. All you got to do is make sure you are subscribed, follow that link in the description, and then sign in with your YouTube account. That's it, super simple and 100% free. So yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck, but now let's get back to these Iron Man minifigures. One quick disclaimer I did want to give out is that I will be including some War Machine minifigures here, just because his minifigure and suit is so similar to Iron Man's and there are just so many suits of his that are really awesome, so I just want to include that in this list as well. But don't worry, it's still definitely mostly Tony Stark, it's just there's some really cool War Machine suits out there, and I thought they deserved to be on this list. Okay, so let's start things off with number 10, Mark 17, the Heartbreaker armor. This armor is from Iron Man 3, we actually got it for the first time in one of the Iron Man 3 sets. It was the smallest one, that set honestly wasn't that great considering it was called I think the Iron Man and Mandarin Final Battle, and in the actual movie it didn't end up playing out like that at all. Obviously there was that huge Mandarin twist and it ended up being Aldrich Killian, so this set was really inaccurate, but nonetheless it still gave us a really cool Iron Man suit, that being the Heartbreaker armor. We only see it for a relatively small amount of time in the actual movie, but it does end up looking quite different from most of the Iron Man suits and has a lot of this bulky armor around it and a lot of different face markings and whatnot. It just looks very different compared to the regular Iron Man suit. Now because it looks so different, it is quite hard for LEGO to recreate that here in a LEGO form without doing some custom molding, but they did the best they could adding some new markings on the face mask and whatnot and also giving some additional printing that looks very detailed on his torso there. This is also the first Iron Man minifigure to include the blue printing in the eye slits, which I really like, although I do prefer the white ones for the MCU variants of Iron Man. Now I gotta be honest, I am a little bit biased with this minifigure because this is actually the first Iron Man minifigure that I ever got when I was a kid. I bought it with my own money, I had to save up 13 bucks to buy that small little set, and I was just so happy to finally have a LEGO Iron Man minifigure. I remember I missed out on the Avengers sets and I couldn't afford any of the other ones that were available for Iron Man 3, so this was a perfect set for me to buy and I just absolutely love this armor. So yeah, I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it looks really cool and it will be taking the 10th spot on our list. Okay, next up we got the Iron Man Mark 50 armor from Infinity War. I have always been a massive fan of this suit, mainly because as a kid growing up, my favorite Iron Man suit was the Bleeding Edge armor, the suit that actually builds up onto Tony's body through like his bones, I believe. And we never got to completely see that in the MCU, but this is like the closest thing to it with the nanotech. I just really loved it because he could access the suit whenever he wanted, and it just made the suit so much cooler with the amount of things you could do, like making custom weapons and whatnot. So yeah, I was really glad to see this make an appearance in Infinity War, and I'm really glad they got to do it before Tony Stark met his end, obviously. As for the minifigure here, I think LEGO did an absolutely great job with it. One of the things that I like best about this minifigure is the way that LEGO used this light red printing on the dark red torso here. It really just adds that level of glossiness and detail that I think it has in the movie, and it's really hard to do that on a LEGO minifigure considering everything is 2D, so I think LEGO did an absolutely awesome job with that. And all the rest of the printing looks really good, it's very accurate to the movie in the way that it looks really organic and almost lifelike. I think that was a very unique look for the suit in the film, and I think LEGO executed that here perfectly. So yeah, this is a really great minifigure, but I know some of you guys will be asking why I didn't include Mark 85, the suit that he wears in Endgame, instead of this minifigure, considering they are very, very similar. And in canon, I actually think I might like the Mark 85 a little bit more than the Mark 50, just because I like how it pays homage to the original comic book Iron Man with the golden arms and legs. 
But the thing is, this minifigure here is very lazy in my opinion. They literally just took the exact same Iron Man Mark 50 armor and then recolored some of the legs there to give him the golden leg armor. And then for some reason decided to give him pearl gold arms, which just look really weird to me. It's just really jarring because the gold on his legs do not match his arms at all. And there's no extra amount of detail there on the arms that make it actually look like armor instead of just this weird recolor. So it just doesn't end up looking that much like how we see the Mark 85 in the movie. I really think this minifigure could have gone with some arm printing and then I think it would have been perfect. It's just those pearl gold arms that just really kill this minifigure for me. So yeah, I have to go with Mark 50 as the better suit here. But that is going to do it for our number 9 spot. On to number 8 with our Iron Man Mark 45 armor. This is a minifigure in an actual suit in canon that I think a lot of people have forgotten about and is honestly quite underrated. It was included in another small, almost like a battle pack type set that included Iron Man and a bunch of Ultron minions. And where he ends up actually wearing Mark 45 is at the end of Age of Ultron. Obviously Jarvis ends up becoming a part of Vision, so when Tony needs a new AI, he ends up uploading Friday into this new armor Mark 45. And they don't really make any big mention of it in the movie or anything like that, but he just roll up to that final battle in this really new glossy and almost muscular looking Iron Man suit. And I don't know what it was about that armor, it just looked really cool to me. It looked different enough from the regular Iron Man suit that he wears throughout the rest of the movie. I think LEGO did an awesome job recreating it here. There's just so much detail. The contrast between the gunmetal gray printing with the light red and then the dark red and then the gold as well. It just looks really nice. I also like the little bits of detail on the face mask there around the eyes, making the face mask overall look a lot more sleek, especially with the gray printing on the like cheek parts of the face mask there. It makes everything look a lot more narrow on the minifigure, which I think is perfect for what they were going for. And yeah, I've always just been a big fan of this minifigure and this suit in general, and i just never really seen that many people talk about it that much, so I thought I'd include it in this list. And yeah, that's our number 8 minifigure there, a really awesome Iron Man Mark 45 suit. Okay, so at number 7 we have the OG Iron Man Mark 1 suit. And this suit is obviously just so iconic because it is the first Iron Man suit and takes part in the best Iron Man film, the first one from 2008. Honestly, the minifigure is completely out of scale. It should be much, much bigger. But for what it is, it still looks really awesome, and I really like the types of printing they used here. So if you look at this minifigure, it actually has a silver molded torso and legs and everything else. And then on top of that, they add another layer of silver printing, which just gives it this really nice glossy effect. It's something that I think the Mandalorian from Star Wars could have really used because his helmet just looks a little bit dull in my opinion. That minifigure could also use some other prints as well, but in general I think this method of using the silver printing on top of the silver mold looks really awesome and I think it could really benefit from this type of printing. Anyways, I'm really glad this minifigure uses the newer type of head mold so it doesn't actually have the opening face mask and everything because it works great here with this new piece for the Iron Man helmet. They just print on the eyes and the mouth and everything else and it just looks really accurate to how it looks in the movie. The rest of the prints are super detailed, even if you spin it around back they got a great amount of detail there, it all looks really nice. And yeah, what else can I say, this is just a really awesome figure and I'm really glad that LEGO decided to include it in a set that wasn't even based on Iron Man 2008, so that's probably the best part about this minifigure and that set in general. We're going to be seeing a lot of suits from that set on this list. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for our 7th spot, Iron Man Mark 1. Okay, next up at number 6, we have another Iron Man suit that is not from the MCU. This is Iron Man in his all new, all different armor from the Marvel comics. And one of the reasons that I like this suit so much is that Tony actually wears this exact suit in one of my favorite Marvel comic runs of all time, Civil War Part 2. If you haven't ever read the Marvel comics or checked out the Marvel comics in general, I'd highly recommend reading that arc. It was just really awesome and I think it's some of the best work that Marvel comics has ever done. I'm really hoping we get to see something loosely based on that in the MCU. It was just a very intriguing and thought provoking premise and I'd love to see how the MCU takes its own spin on that. Anyways, enough about that, let's talk about the actual minifigure here. I know right off the bat you're going to be thinking this minifigure looks very plain. I mean like there's no shading or lighting or any sort of depth at all with this minifigure on the prints here. It's all very plain and almost looks hand drawn. But I think that's pretty much perfect for what they were trying to go for, especially since it's based on a comic book and the suit does look quite plain in the comics as well. So I actually think LEGO did a pretty good job with it and it ends up looking pretty accurate. But my favorite part about this minifigure has got to be the helmet itself. 
This is the first time we ever got to see this helmet piece, and it's now used on the newer non-MCU variations of the Iron Man minifigure. And I'm sure you guys have all seen this helmet mold by now, it's just that one that you can't actually manually open, which in some cases is actually a little bit more accurate for some variations of the Iron Man armor, especially with this one just because of how flat the face mask is to the rest of the helmet. I think there would be no way to actually properly do this minifigure with the regular Iron Man helmet piece. So I'm glad LEGO went ahead and made a new mold, which is honestly quite a versatile piece and has been used on so many minifigures and characters from a bunch of different lines. And yeah, this suit just ends up looking quite unique compared to the rest of the Iron Man suits that we've gotten in LEGO so far. Especially because of the fact that it uses this bright red color for the armor here, which I think looks absolutely great. Okay, we are now halfway through our list, and remember I did say War Machine would be making it onto this list at some point. So at number 5, we have War Machine in his Infinity War armor. Now this is actually a very exclusive and expensive minifigure, it was very hard to get a hold of. He was actually included in this minifigure pack that included this War Machine minifigure, Tony Stark and his like jumpsuit that he wears in the beginning of Infinity War, Winter Soldier in his Infinity War outfit, and also Wong from Doctor Strange. All these minifigures look absolutely amazing, but this is definitely the best one of the bunch. The black, red, and silver colors look absolutely awesome here. I know a lot of people say that they should actually use a dark gray color instead of the black for the molds, but to be completely honest, I think that would look a little bit worse. I think black is the best option to go with with what LEGO has in their color palette. So as you can see, the prints here are just absolutely detailed. One of the things I'm very surprised by is how well they were able to get the torso print to transition into the hip printing and then the legs. It all looks and flows very nicely, so LEGO did a good job with that. And also another great piece of printing here is the arm printing. Yes, this minifigure has completely detailed and very accurate arm printing, which is something that LEGO Iron Man minifigures do not get enough of, so I like to see LEGO do more of that. If you take his cannon piece off here, the back printing is also really nice as well. And then his helmet just looks absolutely awesome. LEGO added so much unnecessary little amounts of detail, which they really didn't need to do, but I'm glad they did anyways. So yeah, it's just an absolutely great looking minifigure. I mean, just look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look absolutely awesome. And just because it's different from the other Iron Man suits, we do get Rhodey underneath here with his visor and HUD printed on his face there. So yeah, a great looking minifigure and definitely the best War Machine minifigure ever made. Okay, at number 4, we have the very iconic Iron Man Mark V armor from Iron Man 2. This probably has one of the best and coolest looking Iron Man suit-up scenes of all time. I know a lot of people hate on Iron Man 2, but I don't care, I think it was a great movie, and that moment when he puts on the suitcase armor is just one of the coolest Iron Man moments in the MCU ever. One of the things I like most about this minifigure is that it actually changes up the standard Iron Man look. So instead of having the hot rod red with the gold, it goes for the red and silver armor here, and this is one of the first suits that we ever get to see in the MCU that uses a different color combo, other than the Mark 1 and Mark 2 of course, but this suit just looks absolutely awesome. The amount of details on the face mask and the way it just closes up looks so awesome. And I think LEGO did an absolutely perfect job here of trying to recreate that. They got lines going all over the face mask here, which is done in silver as well. And the rest of their prints are just done very nicely. There's a lot of detail, especially in that upper shoulder region with that silver plating. I honestly would have liked to see maybe a little bit of arm printing as well, but I might be asking for a little bit too much there. This minifigure does look great. One of the coolest parts about this minifigure though is the way that it was included in an Infinity War set, even though it never appears in that movie. I'm really glad to see LEGO revisiting old parts of the MCU and including that in new sets, so this summer wave is going to be really awesome just due to that exact same fact. So yeah, a really great minifigure and I hope we see some of the older armors in a LEGO form at some point. Okay, our next suit here at number 3 is actually included in the exact same set. This is Mark 41 Bones. We see this suit for the first time in Iron Man 3, it has that very iconic scene where it splits apart and then takes out a bunch of bad guys at once. And honestly what makes it look so cool is that very unique black and gold color combo here. It's just so different from what we usually see on Iron Man, so I think it was a great choice to do that in the MCU. I think LEGO did an absolutely perfect job of recreating that here in a LEGO form. And now just look at the front torso print of this minifigure. This might be the most detailed torso printing I have ever seen. I mean, if you zoom in all the way there, you can see these tiny little bits of detail even underneath the gold plating, which look absolutely amazing. 
a lot of this printing is also metallic and shiny so it ends up looking really nice and it continues onto the leg and hips as well and as well as the toes so this is a very detailed minifigure and I think it might be one of the best printing jobs I've ever seen Lego do on a minifigure. Flipping around to the back, you can also see the printing is continued. It looks absolutely great. And yeah, the face mask also looks cool as well. It follows that similar look to the Iron Man Mark V minifigure that we just looked at with the lines and everything going through the face mask, making it look like it can split apart. I just think LEGO did a really good job with this minifigure, and I'm also very glad they included it in that exact same Infinity War set, so you get a bunch of really cool Iron Man armors all in one set, even though they don't really pertain to the Infinity War, so that is also a really nice touch. And yeah, just like the last one, I'm hoping that LEGO will continue to give us more suits from the older MCU films as well. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do for Mark 41 Bones. Okay, we are now at our second spot, and believe it or not, we actually have an Iron Man suit that is not from the MCU. This is Mark 39, the Gemini armor, and technically I can't officially call it that because that suit is the one that's included in Iron Man 3, which is part of the MCU, and this minifigure here is technically not based off of that suit. So I can't really call it that, but it just ends up looking so much like the Mark 39 from Iron Man 3, so I'm going to call it Gemini from here and there, even though it technically isn't correct. What this is based on is Iron Man's deep space suit from the Avengers TV show. So yeah, it may not be from the MCU, but I gotta admit, this minifigure just looks super cool. I think the best part of this minifigure has gotta be the color scheme. This white and gold paired with the gunmetal gray printing is just perfect in my opinion. And I think some of the best parts about this minifigure have got to be the gunmetal gray printing here, which actually, when you look really close into, have this hexagonal pattern going on, which is honestly kind of unnecessary, but I'm really glad that LEGO just went the extra step and included that really, really fine detail there. Another great thing about this minifigure, and this has probably got to be one of the best ways I think to handle this, is with the arc reactor and the actual eye slits. So the arc reactor here is actually blue with some white detailing around it, and then the eyes are actually a layer of printing that is blue, and then on top of that another layer of white printing that is a little bit smaller but ends up giving this really nice look like the blue is kind of coming out of the sides of the eye slits there. So I gotta be honest, I think it's probably the best way to do the Iron Man eyes, and I'm really hoping LEGO continues to do this variation of eyes in more Iron Man minifigures. It just looks really cool, so yeah, this is just such a great minifigure. I mean, if you look at the back as well, again, super detailed, and then it also has this really nice, or not really nice, but a cool addition of a booster pack on the back, which I guess you could just take off if you just want to see that extra bit of detail, but this is a great minifigure, and uh, yeah, it takes our second spot on this list. Okay, before we go on to our number one best LEGO Iron Man minifigure ever made, I want to take a quick look at some honorable mentions that were really great minifigures, but just weren't good enough to be on this list, so that's what we're going to mention here right now. And in no particular order, we're going to start off with Iron Man in his Mark 46 armor. This is a suit that a lot of people forget about as well, but it's the one that Iron Man wore in Civil War, and it's just one of the coolest standard looking Iron Man suits that I think have ever been made in the MCU. Next up, we got the Iron Man Mark II armor from the Avengers video game. Yeah, I know it would have been a lot cooler if this was the Mark II from the MCU, but this is still a really great looking minifigure with its complete silver printing and molding as well. So yeah, a really great minifigure, even though it's technically not from the MCU. And last but not least, we got another War Machine variant here, the Iron Patriot. This is a very exclusive and hard to find minifigure that I'm very lucky to have since I was able to grab it when I was a kid by pre-ordering that first LEGO Marvel Super Heroes video game. This minifigure just looks so different with all the red, blue, and white printing. It looks very American and patriotic, which is what it was going for, so yeah, this is just a great looking minifigure. Okay, so enough with the honorable mentions, now let's get on to our number one LEGO Iron Man minifigure ever made which is going to be Iron Man in his Mark 33 Silver Centurion armor. Okay, I just have so many different things that I love about this minifigure, so I'm going to try and compress it down so this video doesn't end up being like an hour long. Alright, where to begin? Just like some of the other minifigures that I mentioned on this list, this one also uses that red and silver color scheme, which looks great again. But here we just get so much more detail than what we're used to. I'm going to start with the armor that he wears on top here and then strip that down and then look at the printing underneath. So this armor piece that he uses is actually from the LEGO Legends of Chima line. 
which is a theme that ran a little while ago and it was a little bit underrated in my opinion, but it included so many different new molds and whatnot of armor and weapons and all this great stuff that was never really seen again for other LEGO themes. But one of the best molds they have here is this armor. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to take that armor from my Chima sets and put it on Iron Man to make him look a little bit more cooler and bulky and just make my own custom Iron Man minifigures. But then LEGO went ahead and did that with their official Silver Centurion armor. And then on top of that, LEGO decided to go the extra mile and use a silver mold and then include a red painting for the shoulder pads, which just looks absolutely amazing. It's just such an unnecessary amount of detail that I didn't think they needed to add, but they did anyway, so it looks awesome. And then on top of that, on the front tile there, you have a really nice print of the arc reactor going on. Flipping around back, you've got some added detail as well of his back armor. So yeah, that top armor piece looks really great. And it's just one of the most unique things we've ever seen on a LEGO Iron Man minifigure. But when you take that off, you can see the printing continues onto the rest of the torso, as well as the back of the torso. So that is really awesome. The leg prints also look great as well, nothing too special, but then when you turn them to the side, you can see we actually get side leg printing, which is one of the most rare forms of printing we ever see on LEGO minifigures in general, so LEGO really went off on this minifigure by including that. Now, as you guys know, I really like it when LEGO gives us unnecessary amounts of detail on their minifigures, so then they really went the extra mile here and then gave us dual molded arms, and on top of that, printed those arms. And to be completely honest, I'm not sure if LEGO has ever done that for any other minifigure ever. This is just such a large amount of detail on one minifigure. And honestly, some people may say it's a little bit unnecessary and makes the minifigure look a little bit worse, but I'd have to disagree. I think it just makes it look a lot more accurate. The arm printing is very detailed, and I'm really glad they included his wrist blades, which he uses in the film to cut off Aldrich Killian's arm, which is a very small and unnecessary amount of detail that they didn't really need to include with this minifigure, but I'm glad they did anyways. So yeah, just an absurd amount of printing here, and then on top of that, the face mask also has that nice touch of printing around the eyes, so yeah, this just might be one of the most detailed minifigures I actually own, and I think that LEGO has ever actually made. It's just got so much detail. I think the only thing they could have added here is probably like dual molded legs maybe but honestly i don't even think this minifigure needs that so yeah this is just in my opinion the most detailed and one of the coolest minifigures that lego has ever made and i'm just really glad to have it in my collection also i do want to point out that we get a little bit of an exclusive iron man head here with tony stark with his bruised eye as well so that's a really nice touch but overall this minifigure just looks absolutely awesome and it's definitely got to be the best LEGO Iron Man minifigure ever made. So that's going to pretty much do it. Those are the top 10 best LEGO Iron Man minifigures ever made, in my opinion, of course. As always, guys, make sure to let me know what your top 10 lists would look like down in the comments. Also, make sure to let me know which Iron Man minifigures you guys own. Do you guys have the entire collection? Are you guys collecting a bunch of them? Let me know how many you guys own in your own collections down in the comments below. It's all good if you disagree, I want to hear every single opinion, so make sure to let me know. I'm really looking forward to this summer wave of sets because we're going to be getting that new Iron Man from 2008 minifigure. There are a few more Iron Man minifigures I need to include in my collection here, which I'm working on getting through Bricklick and whatnot, so when I get my collection completed very soon, I will be making a video on the entire thing, so stay tuned for that as well. Also, if you guys haven't had a chance to do so already, make sure to enter the giveaway and win some Iron Man minifigures yourselves. But that will pretty much do it for me. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.